I think the seed of my book, Christianophobia, A Faith Under Attack, was looking at the suicide video made by Mohammed Sadiq Khan, the ringleader of the July 7th uh, London bombers of 2005. And he justified uh, committing suicide and mass murder on the basis that Muslims were getting killed around the world. And I thought to myself that a lot has been made of the, the moral squalor, really, of that comment, but far less made of its sheer incoherence. Because if you look well beyond Iraq and Afghanistan, and on a time frame going back well before 2001, you can see that it's actually Christians who are on the defensive against rampant forms of intolerance, both uh, religious and secular. I wouldn't for a moment deny that other faith groups face problems. In fact, at every turn in my book, I do try to uh, lay emphasis on the suffering and the difficulties faced by uh, other groups, not only by Christians. But it struck me that there, there was a real need for a study that concentrated overwhelmingly on the plight of Christians. Just bear in mind a few statistics. The carnage in Iraq has been horrific, but it's totally dwarfed, for example, by what's been going on in Sudan over the past 30 years, where about 2 million Christian and other non-Muslim civilians have been butchered by agents of the regime uh, since the start of the civil war there in the um, early 80s. Hundreds of thousands of Catholic non-combatants were killed in um, East Timor during the struggle for independence. And uh, in other societies, we're talking about a sort of drip, drip, drip exit, the Copts of Egypt, for example. And another significant, albeit different problem, and that's discrimination, such that we see a lot of in a, in a country like Turkey. I'd also like to emphasize that my study isn't by any means confined to Muslim-majority countries. There are all sorts of problems faced by Christians in China or in India, Burma, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, North Korea, that have nothing to do with militant Islam. So what I'm aiming for is a responsibly researched, uninflammatory overview of what Christians are facing at the moment.